Now for something slightly different, we've got the Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, SMTP. And this is, again, the application layer protocol, and this is for handling outbound email. So let's just talk about the operation. It's very simple, as the name in this case suggests. So first of all, we've got our client, and in this case, we're talking about the application, the email client, rather than a human or the laptop in general. We're just talking about the actual application that's sending the email, and this will be this will send the email in or in uh, this will send the email to a mail server, which will potentially run SMTP, and then this will be connected to the network that is the internet. Uh, it's a great graphic as always. So. A server, a mail server that runs this protocol, will have a database with users' email addresses linked to the DNS. So you've got a domain part of your email, as you know. So say this is a a Microsoft mail server. If you're sending to someone with at gmail.com, it will know where to send that. It will know the servers of Gmail because it will have this database that's linked to the DNS. So it will be able to send it to other mail servers where um, the inbound email protocols work. So now to look at a couple of inbound email protocols, POP and IMAP again may work at the application layer. And POP stands for Post Office Protocol and IMAP Internet Message Access Protocol. A pain to learn, but you know, you could get a, a very simple question on it. And you would use either, not both. They don't work together, they're separate and they work in different ways, as we'll mention. So same diagram again, in this case, the mail is coming from the internet to the mail server where it's kind of stored temporarily. Then when you can access it, when you've got a connection, it will send it to you. But the actual operation is where, at this stage, between the mail server and the client is where the operation differs between the two. So POP does not keep the server and client in sync. That's a very uh, good phrase to use. So when you download the mail, when you make this connection to the mail server running the post office protocol uh, it's deleted as soon as you get your email so there's no, there's no permanent connection between the mail server and the client the only connection is when you're actually going to download your mail from it whereas IMAP keeps the two synced when you get your email you only ever download a copy of it so the only way it actually gets deleted from the server running IMAP is when you actually delete it from your client so you sort of tell it to delete it whereas POP just does it automatically whereas uh, IMAP will um, keep track of any changes you make in your inbox. So for example, you might move your email to another folder, the mail server will keep track of it. And this is why you can access IMAP from lots of different accounts. Um, whereas if you try to do it with a post office protocol, you only ever get, it only ever really work on one account because you can only download it once, if you know what I mean. So it's difficult to remember which one does which. I, I kind of remember it like, the post office doesn't keep a copy of your parcels when they deliver something to your house so it, they don't care as soon as you get your email it's fine but the IMAP is much more they're kept in sync so it's kept updated 